And though I consider myself lucky as I live right beside the loch and can pick my days for boating, I don't always get it right. This day the forecast was for light winds, overcast but dry, so I couldn't resist a trip up the loch. I took a fishing rod and a packed lunch to make a day of my journey. In truth, it was in reasonable conditions as I assembled the boat on the beach, but as I headed towards the Bono Narrows and Loch Etiv, I could see it looked rather wet ahead. There was also a blistery breeze blowing down the loch, so I about turned and headed back to Airs Bay, but at least it looked a little drier. The water calmed in the shelter of the now offshore wind, and the sky also looked clearer away from the hills. I stopped and dropped my fishing lures to a seabed, but the drift was much too fast, so I also dropped my homemade drogue overboard. Not only does it slow the boat to a reasonable drift, it also turns about into the wind and steadies the rocking motion of the guppy. It's a most useful piece of kit when it's too deep to drop an anchor, and I generally carry it in the boat at all times, even when not fishing. I made mine from a square metre of canvas, cut from an abandoned tent someone left lying in a shore. Eight pieces of cheap little rope are stitched around its perimeter as shown, and they tie it onto a curtain ring in the middle. It's as simple as that, but it works very well. There didn't seem to be many fish about, so I up drogue and headed further west towards the sea and away from the hills which were attracting the rain. The further west I went, the brighter it became, and the wind disappeared. Some sun even managed through the heavy overcast clouds. It was like night and day at either end of a 20 mile long loch and I enjoyed going along the north shore as I sailed a mug along this side due to the sometimes shallow water. I started to troll a toby to see if I could catch that elusive edible fish as I headed for Connell Bridge. At the bridge I caught a couple of coalies, which were put back as I don't eat them, and then started heading my way back up the loch. much drier around the Bono Narrows and the cloud had cleared from the top of Ben Kruichen, so I decided to head for the eastern end again. The guppy can be a bit of a wee bouncy boat than a short sharp loch chop, so I was delighted when the breeze began to drop. Then, when the water turned as still as a mill pond, I forgot all about fishing and even put the video camera away. I wanted to capture the new mood of the loch in photographs, so brought out the camera, and this is the result.
thoroughly enjoyed my day in the loch, and as I headed for home, I thought, I will never tire seeing the scenery here. It's totally different every time I come. In contrast to a still grey day, the following photographs were taken a month later on a cold but lovely sunny morning. I sure get a lot of enjoyment and inspiration from the lock at the back of my door. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.